What's going on everybody in the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube community? Listen, I wanna show you a quick strategy that I've been using for the interior for literally years and this is a good interior to show this particular strategy on it. And I wanna share with you guys why I use two different vacuums for interior detailing usually. So when I'm vacuuming an, an interior, oftentimes I can knock out a lot of things at once. And what I mean by that is rather than vacuuming and then coming back to do some sort of steam or carpet shampoo or whatever, I can knock out both of those things in nasty interiors often in one fell swoop. And so I'm gonna turn the camera around here so you guys can see. So this is what I'm, I'm talking about right here. This is without taking the floor mat out, it'll kind of hyper focus us right here. In these areas, this is where uh, it takes detailers a while to basically pull all of this type of dirt out because number one, you're in a tight space. Number two, you've got a vacuum head that doesn't fit into these creases. And number three, you've got a nasty interior. And so when you have a nasty interior like this, oftentimes um, you're gonna hit things one at a time. So you're gonna vacuum first, then steam, then carpet shampoo, then come back in and vacuum and all that sort of stuff. So check this out. I wanna show you what I'm gonna do, and I wanna see if I can maybe bend the camera just a little bit so you can see just like this. Also guys, in case you didn't know, I'm actually in my new detailing studio. So this is a little bit of a spoiler alert because I haven't shown it yet, I don't think, live on YouTube, but here we are. So check this out. I'm gonna take my steamer and my vacuum at the exact same time, and I actually call this, this is just like my own terminology for it, but I call it the dentist method because this is what you do at the dentist office when they spray water into your mouth and they suck the water out at the same time. That's what we're doing here. I'm gonna use the steamer to blow out the crease. I'm gonna blow it into this particular vacuum. Then I'll explain why I, this is actually not my only vacuum that I use. So I'm gonna turn the vacuum on. So without uh, belaboring the point, let me show you. Basically what we've done here is in one fell swoop, like I said, blown out all of this and vacuumed it up at the same time. Now you might be thinking, Luke, you got a bunch of stuff wet when you did that and so aren't, isn't that gonna make it you know, more complicated to vacuum this up later on? The reality is I'm gonna shampoo this carpet and so it doesn't matter that it's wet. But the second thing is getting it wet with this hot steam is only gonna help me because I'm loosening up dirt in terms of stains that I'm gonna address with a carpet shampoo later. Now the reason why I call this using two vacuums is because I have a dedicated vacuum, just like a detailing brush, that is dry and it's dry only. And then I have a dedicated vacuum, the same exact one, for wet, okay? So it's both rigid four gallon vacs, the reason why I have one dedicated for dry and one dedicated for wet is because I like to use the wet one converted for an extractor, but it also works perfectly for moments like this because it allows me to not worry about the fact that I'm getting a bunch of wet debris inside of the extractor, okay? So again, I call it the dentist method, but this is that little, um, Something I've been using on interiors that, that works in a lot more than just um, carpets. The other place that it works, and we could, we could um, demonstrate it here, which I will. I'll turn the camera around here. The other place it works is going to be uh, plastics like this, particularly, uh, this is a good example as an SUV, but particularly in minivans where you've got um, areas where the cart or the, the seat slides back and forth, those slats, um, and this is a good area as well. You know, think about like this little, this area where this little uh, screw is or right there. This entire area, it's really, really disgusting. So I can sit down and try to scrub it out with um, a, a sponge or a magic eraser and that's a good start and I, will, I would implement that strategy here. But it also makes a ton of sense for me to just do this with the steamer because I can loosen all this up with the steamer and then vacuum all of that up with my vacuum, which I'll do now just to show you guys. And I can do it one at a time if I wanted to, so I can take my steamer and I can just blast this. Then I can take my vacuum if I wanted to do it this way. And you guys get my point. I'm, I'm just I'm dealing with wet stuff here, and yet I don't have to worry about the fact that uh, this is 
a, a, a vacuum, right? Because it's not what I'm using for dry stuff. So turn this around. Again, I barely hit this, and you can see there's a ton of staining and stuff. One of the things I like to do um, it is, <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> Um, so I was reading one of the comments. One of the things I like to do when I've got like dried, let's say a gummy bear or gum, I'll take uh, my steamer to an area like this where this feels kind of gummy, okay? And I can kind of pick it out. Uh, but what I can do is just hold my steamer to it and then vacuum it up as I'm, uh, as I'm steaming it, which we'll do right now just to see if we can kind of show you guys what this looks like. So let's check out. So this was a great example because it actually, you know, did exactly what I said. So again, I'm right here. And once I take a magic eraser to this, I'll, I'll actually take all of this kind of, let's call it this black grunge. Like you can see this area is now cleaned and I need to clean the rest because it's got this film on top of it all. But this area in terms of the gumminess is now gone. And so in these tight areas, this ends up being a really helpful strategy. Now, obviously you wanna avoid things like holding the steamer in one place or uh, careful areas like the speedometer or radio buttons or a navigation screen. But apart from those things, this is a really, really easy way to clean carpets, number one. It's the number one place I use it. Uh, people often overestimate how much uh, liquid a steamer introduces to things. And so I like to use my steamer to just blow, you know, crumbs like what we're seeing here back to the back and then I'll vacuum, the, vacuum them up easier when they're not caught in these tight spaces. They're just open, you know, out in the open. It makes it way easier. So that being said though, in these first go arounds, um, I like to use my wet vacuum. It's a really, really good strategy. Um, now, I do wanna also make a quick announcement for you guys who are a part of the channel and um, who are still doing just basic interior exterior details. You know, on Thursday of this week, which is literally in two days, I'm hosting a live free training where I'm talking about how to scale to six figures uh, using ceramic coatings in your detailing business. It's a training that I only host one time per year. So if you've not registered, the link to register is in the YouTube description box below and uh, you can register right now again with the YouTube uh, in the YouTube description box below that link is there once again it's Thursday we're talking about how to scale to six figures using ceramic coating so you can kind of get out of the rat race in some ways of just doing interior exterior detailing so if you guys are doing this this strategy you know these types of strategies are very helpful but what you'll find eventually is that you'll cap out your income in your detailing business <clears throat> if you're just focusing on interior and exteriors and the quickest way to scale up your income 3x 4x 5x 10x is simply by offering ceramic coatings because you're offering something of such uh something of such more like perceived value and actual value that customers are willing to pay for that. But the question is, how do I get customers? How do I build a foundation of a business here? So how do I get, bring customers to me online for free? How do I do this without having to waste money on paid ads or work with a marketing agency? How do I do it consistently for the next several years? What are the strategies online that people are not talking about? So those are the, all the things that we're gonna be going over. It's gonna be really powerful. Like I said, I do it once a year, so make sure to take advantage of it with the link in the YouTube description box below. And uh, again, that's Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time, so we're two days away. I want to give you guys a little bit of a spoiler alert of the uh, new detail studio here. Um, I won't show you everything, but I'll show you the cabinets that I just got installed because uh, they're pretty awesome. So up here, there's nothing in them, obviously, but I've got cabinets up here. I've got cabinets down here. And uh, we've got a stainless steel workbench right here. Got these new Cree light fixtures up top. They look absolutely insane. Let's see if I can kind of put you around like this. This will be way easier. Boom, there we go. So I don't have anywhere to sit right now because I don't have my stool, but this is the new detail studio. I'll be posting very soon on YouTube with a full video about it so you guys can get kind of a full idea of exactly what it looks like. But again, guys, the uh, training that I'm hosting on uh, Thursday will be in here and just doesn't come around very often. And so if you've been waiting to get into ceramic coatings, if you wanna get into ceramic coatings for free uh, and get certified for free, um, we've actually put together something that literally can't be found anywhere else in the industry. It's the first time 
I guess I'll give it away a little bit. But uh, if you come to the training, you'll uh, get access to free certification by one of the largest ceramic coating companies in the industry. Um, and the reason we're able to do that is because we have um, literally put together something that nobody else has ever done, but we have become a um, third party, uh, basically certifier for a particular company who kind of sees where we're going. They, they see how robust our training is. Um, and so if you want to get access to that, again, that'll be available Thursday as well. So there's just going to be a ton of bonuses involved and it's going to be really, really awesome. So like I said, only do it once a year. It's very, very, very worth it. And uh, the link to register is in the YouTube description box below. So guys, hopefully this was helpful. Highly, highly suggest implementing some of these things in terms of your interior and exterior detailing. Um, and then let me see if I can answer just a couple questions before I get off here. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Winters said, I've never been certified, um, but still doing ceramic coatings. Yeah, that's great. You don't have to be certified to do ceramic coatings, obviously. Uh, you don't have to be certified to start a detailing business, right? But um, what we've done is say, hey, listen, we're not selling certification. We're putting together some really robust training, which is what people actually need, and we're just going to tack on certification as something that's naturally a part of it. It's not, you know, it's not like some, some additional thing. And that's the thing, guys. That's why I encourage you to come Thursday because in the detailing world, you know, if you want to get training, generally speaking, you have to fly to some in-person training where you learn nothing about business and it's just some upsell on products. And that's not what this is. This is online. You can access it from anywhere. We don't sell chemicals or products, so there's no, you know, upsell on one pro on a product line or something like that. Um, this is just raw, unadulterated training that you need, um, and the detailers just don't talk about these days because most guys who you're dealing with have not built ceramic coating businesses. Um, so, anyway, let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Connor Hart, glad you're here, man. Appreciate your involvement. Um, somebody said, I'll be there on Thursday. How long is it going to be? It's going to be about an hour and a half. Um, Westchester Auto Details, I can't wait. Let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Um, somebody said, do you recommend a waterless wash or a rinseless wash? And... Um, I would say that I wouldn't get caught up in those details. Rinseless wash and waterless wash are almost the same thing. Um, anyway, uh, I do the same thing and also call it Desmond. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, you do not need a camera or a microphone to join on Thursday. It's just going to be <clears throat> me um, talking. There'll be a chat box where people can ask questions and all that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, this is a great question. Um, Winter said, I thought, or, or thoughts on mailing flyers um, to the top 10% income homeowners. Um, I really don't recommend flyers at all or business cards. Um, again, Thursday we're going to be talking about why, but, but the reason for this is if you want to create a sustainable machine that brings customers to you on autopilot, you have to be in a medium that brings customers to you. So I do not recommend flyers, I don't recommend business cards, but listen, on Thursday, I'm gonna be teaching you guys something I call the C3 method. It's the number one strategy that took my business to six figures in the same year I started implementing it, and it's literally a free online um, strategy that still no one talks about. And I was just, I, I was just with, um, on a Zoom call with a guy the other day who's 21 who is in one of my private groups and he said why isn't anyone talking about this and I was like I don't know I don't know they talk about it in other industries but they don't talk about it in in detailing for whatever reason um, somebody said are you talking about like SEO yes tons and tons and tons of SEO tips but these are things that are sustainable they're gonna work over time for years into the future they're gonna bring ceramic coating customers to your phone um, and they're free and so, and no, this isn't just like how to put, your, you know, keywords on your website, how to rank number one on Google. This is one of the other things people think. A lot of detailers think, hey, if I can just get my website ranked on the first page of Google, then that'll make me a ton of money. That worked 10 years ago. That doesn't work today. 
For sure, you should be on the first page of Google, but that alone, just trying to get some website on the first page of Google, it's an old strategy, okay? So you're gonna have to develop and kind of evolve into the new economy of detailing online in terms of bringing customers, and that's what I'm gonna be teaching you guys. So highly suggest being there, like I said, Link to registers in the YouTube description box below. And uh, guys, thanks for being involved. And I will see you on Thursday in the new detail studio.